Hey guys, my name is Mac. This is Kirkpatrick Woodshop. Today's a big day. Finally going to get this table saw mounted on my workbench. Um, saying goodbye to Harbor Freight forever. I'm really excited about getting this thing mounted. Um, unfortunately, I didn't know that I was going to be upgrading my table saw when I made this workbench. So I'm going to have to make some, some major uh, changes to it. Um, I think I'm going to have to cut these 4x4s, cut the top shorter, and make this uh, table saw top the new portion of my, my workbench. Um, other than that, I've got the height already changed. Um, so let's get to it. Please uh, like, subscribe, and share this video with your friends if you like this channel or if you've enjoyed these videos. Um, I'm new to this YouTube and really trying to grow my my uh, viewership and my channel. And I'd really appreciate it if you would if you'd hit the subscribe button, and hit the little bell, so you can get a notification whenever I uh, upload a new video. So we'll go ahead and start getting these these beams cut and and hopefully get this table saw mounted pretty quick. table mark back I'm gonna have to cut it um, 24 inches short shorter than it was um, it's hard to see but I've got a uh, got a little housing right here that I used to put a um, piece of plywood and make kind of a side table um, that's gonna have to get relocated not sure where yet I'm gonna get those screws out um, I've got two screws in the top of each of the two by fours I think I'm gonna leave those I think my first, my next step will be to cut these four by fours with with the um, sawzall, and then I can come back here and with the jigsaw cut these uh, cut the top to, to size and get that off, and uh, hopefully we'll be pretty close to putting this table saw on. As you can see, I really like the yellow or the color yellow. Got DeWalt, DeWalt, um, big big fan of DeWalt. Never had any issues with them. Um, but we're gonna use this sawzall to go ahead and cut these four by fours flush with uh, with my two by fours, and and uh, we should be a couple steps closer. two screws in either top. Um, I think actually I'm going to leave those and I'm going to cut with the jigsaw these last two out and we should we should be able to do a, a test fit and make sure and see kind of where this table saw is hitting on everything. Because of um, because of my Irwin vise, I'm gonna have to do the rest of it by hand. Um, but it's just a small little bit. I don't think it's gonna be too big of a deal. All right. With that bang, we are ready to we're ready to drop the table saw down in there and, and see if this is gonna be its final home. The 
and there we go. I like it. I think it's a good working height. Um, it could maybe go a little lower, but I, I don't think it's going to be an issue. Um, and as you can see, the, the saw uh, table, the table saw top is uh, still above this, above this vise, um, so I'm not going to have any issues there. And I don't anticipate any issues with the rack and, oh, there is one issue with the rack and pinion. Oh, it is going to hit. So, going left, I hit my vise. We'll have to see what we can do about that. Okay, it looks like it looks like I can slide my vise down another couple inches and then I won't have any issues and honestly I think that's the only issue I have um, if I do that I think I'm gonna be good so let's go ahead and I'll go ahead and uh, I'll go ahead and start working on, on pulling that down Just two, um, just two bolts that hold it in, so I'll have to drill new holes, but um, I should just be able to slide it down and, and uh, that'll, that'll take care of the issues with the fence. Okay, so I can't go all the way to the left because if I do, it's gonna block this drawer. So I think I'm gonna hold off on, on remounting the, the vise. I don't wanna make a snap judgment and put it in the wrong area. I'm more worried about, um, that's my second vise anyway, so I'm more worried about this table saw getting in the right location. Um, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna make this my number one, and, uh, and I'm gonna go ahead and get this mount, finish mounted and, um, and finish up this video. Okay, and before I, I uh, start drilling holes, before I start drilling holes for, um, to mount it to this, this uh, shelf that I made, I, I wanna just kinda see where I'm at level-wise. Okay, we're good. So here's a side view of it on its, um, on this new platform. I'm gonna get a little closer. As you can see, this front cross beam, it had, it's, it's um, even with the two by four, so that's gonna be okay. It's gonna give me somewhere to screw into. But this back one is not. It's, uh, it's, got, no, it's got no support across the back of it. So I think what I'm gonna try to do is take a scrap two by four and piece it in between those two and give it, that way I'll have somewhere to screw into and can mount this uh, table saw. Cause I don't plan on taking this off the workbench um, I think I want to leave it on here and, and, um, and use it in the rolling workbench like my last one. All right, so I've got the piece cut and as you can see, I've mounted it. All I need to do now is get some three inch bolts, um, and drill some holes and I should be able to run those through my beams 
through the cross beams and through my uh, two by fours. And this uh, table saw should be mounted really good, nice and secure, and I uh, shouldn't have to worry about it ever. All right, guys, here it is, table saw is mounted. I want to introduce you to the boss of the house. Her name's Charlie. Her and, her and my wife, uh, they run the show around here, so I want to get her approval. What do you think, Charlie? You like it? Look. You think it's good? Well, guys, I appreciate you watching this video of me mounting my new uh, table saw. Um, if you liked what you saw today, please uh, hit the like button. Um, also, don't forget to subscribe to Kirkpatrick Woodshop and do more of these videos. Um, I really appreciate your support and, um, you know, stay tuned for the next uh, video I put up. So have a good day and thanks for watching.